amazing Preskin will now entertain. They are, they are such good subjects that I'm going to say that you will all from now on do everything I say. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, well, here's your first subject. Your name? I, Anne. Anne what? Anne Hill. Anne Hill. Okay. And Anne, until about, and I want to admit to the audience, until about 30 seconds ago, I, I've never met you. We've never spoken, and, except for no. the 30 seconds before. That's right. I just want to say something. Believe me, and for the sake of people watching and so forth, I'm not going to hypnotize or put her in a trance and anything else. I want to show you how, if you hold an idea in your mind, your muscles can react uncontrollably. Uh, the, the, the psychologist who was on it, I, don't, I have not met him. His name, uh, John? Uh, Dr. Bob Brooks. Uh, Brooke, Dr. Brooks would be the first to say that people can be so fearful of heights that if they stood at the edge of a, um, a large ledge, they would start to sway. You could stand next to that same ledge if it were on the ground, and you would never sway. You know how some of you, well, some of us are afraid of heights. Turn with your back to me now. And your first name again? Yeah. Anne. Put your feet close together. Now, this is the way I tested her a moment ago. And close your eyes. I don't want you to play along with me. I don't want you to help me. But I'm going to sway you back first, and don't stop yourself. Just sway back. Eyes closed. Sway. Now, I literally, she's lost her balance. Her eyes are closed. I just want to assure her that I can stop her. Now, Anne, close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. Tilt your head back. Back. Now, stand straight. This time, don't try to fall. I don't want you to try to fall. And yet, my fingers, Anne, are like magnets. Look. Isn't that wild? Isn't that hot? Yeah. Isn't that weird? She's a good stuffer. All right. Oh. Before. And what did it feel like? What kind of sensation? A pulling? A... Uh, um, a movement, a pressure, what? It what felt like a pulling. Like a pulling. As if you had two fingers uh, pulling me. Now, Anne, and this is a very, very unusual. I did this with Virginia Graham some years ago, and she commented on camera. She said, boy, if anyone thought anything was prearranged, she said, I have to swear I didn't know what was going to happen. You don't know what I'm going to do now regarding playing cards and this test. Uh, what's your name, sir? Russ, would you stand? I don't know you, do I, Russ? No, you don't. Come on over here, my friend. Just stand about here. And then we'll get, we don't want to block our cameras. Just to hold the cards. We don't have to hear. Now, folks, let me do this. I have here, and I, I'm doing this in a very quiet way because I don't want Anne to see the card, the face of it. One of these cards, and our camera crew can let me know, one of these cards is marked with a heavy, thick felt X. Can that be seen on camera right now? By the way, and John and Russ will be the first to verify, there are no other X's. It's one card. And now I will level with you folks. I have here the 13 hearts of the deck. John is going to do this. He's going to start to count out, uh, to name the cards out loud. Ace of hearts, two of hearts, so forth. Russ, hold these in the palm of your hand, just one hand like that. Now, Anne, face me if you will. Place your feet close together. Drop your hands to your sides. I know the card that's marked. When I did this with President Ford's daughter, Susan, and her brother stood behind her, all I said was that when her brother named the card, Susan would feel a force pulling her back. I'm going to cause you to fall back when John names the card that has the X on it. And, John, you don't know the card, do you? No, I don't even see the cards. Now, rest assured... <laughs> Rest assured, John is going to catch you. He's going to stop you. <laughs> but we Don't want worry. to make certain. Okay. <laughs> I like the way John did that with a very uncertain. No, he, true. But, John, stay far enough away so that there's a clear loss of balance. Mm -hmm. Now, don't try to guess the card. And, John, just to get a pace, I want you to name the, eight, the, the hearts very slowly. Pause about three seconds between. Do it now for a couple of cards. This name is them. only an hour and a half show. That's you know. all right, but just... You'd say ace, ace. So she got a pattern. Right. Say a few of the cards. Ace of hearts. Ace of hearts. King of hearts. No, oh. I'll point you each time. Oh, to okay. Say it. Ace of and, hearts. All right. Don't do it now. And close your eyes. Ace of hearts. King of hearts. Queen of hearts. Open your, you did not do that deliberately, did you? And I want to tell you something. John started reversing the order. Instead of going from ace the way I have him, two, three, four, he went from ace, went to the other. So if someone thinks, oh, well, Kreskin's relying 
on some pattern. No, you fell at the queen of hearts. Hold your hand palm upward, if you will. Let me lay that card there. He only got to name three cards, never got to the sixes, sevens, eights, so forth. I could have marked any one of these cards. She reacted to the queen, and folks, if you will. How about that? Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. The amazing Preston.